Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a little bit of a unique video to do today. Um, this is going to be three knives in one video, but um, they're all there's a lot of overlap. These are all Penguin variants from QSP. QSP reached out to me recently, asked if I'd be willing to check these out, show them on the channel. Um, I agreed. I'm glad I did, frankly. These are interesting, cool knives. I have been QSP Penguin curious for a long time. Um, I think the Penguin started to get kind of popular in the like budget zone of the knife world a little bit like after I had kind of exited that zone of the knife world for the most part. These days, most of what I buy for myself um, is just at a, a different caliber. I've, I've gotten into customs and uh, really high-end production and stuff that's a little bit different than like the more budget-friendly side of the knife industry. That said, I still have some budget knives in my collection. They still make it in pocket every now and then. And I still appreciate the like the goodness that can be found in that world and the value that can be there. And so I've been tempted to buy a penguin a few times, um, but there's so many variations and I don't know, I just, I've never pulled the trigger. I don't know. It just hasn't happened. And so I was stoked that that's what they wanted to send me to check out. So I said yes. So these are three new iterations of the penguin. Um, and one of them is a fixed blade, kind of a neck knife mini penguin. I'll see that quite a bit more in a second. We have a folder mini penguin. Um, also interesting. And then this one is, what do they call this? Is it an XL? This is the Penguin, Penguin Plus XL. Um, and this one's in titanium scales and uh, frankly, pretty freaking interesting. So there's this guy right here. Um, now these are all the same model, kind of, like they're, they're based on this same design. So what I don't have here is a regular size penguin, which is fine. Um, honestly, this XL one, spoiler alert, is gonna be my favorite in a lot of ways. It's really sick. It's a frame lock, it's a full titanium body, it's a 20 CV blade. Uh, this thing is legit. <laughs> um, this is not what I was expecting because to me, the penguin is a budget knife, right? And I'm not sure what these are gonna retail at, QSP sent me these, uh, but I'll put links to QSP so that you can see where what these are going to be at price-wise. You can do your own research. That'll be fun because um, I didn't do it for you, but this one's really, really cool. So um, I like them all though, honestly. All right, so let's just kind of go through one by one. I'm going to start with this mini guy because it's quirky and interesting and different. It is a really small knife. Uh, this guy is probably similar in length to like my baby banter. I think that's probably the closest thing I have to it. Or maybe like a Protec Runt 5. It's like just a tiny little guy. And what's striking to me is the like quality of the little details on here. I am, not only is the penguin new to me, I don't have that much experience with QSP. I've got a prototype I just shot. It'll probably be live by the time this goes live. Um, that's made by QSP from Crispy Donut Community, their Hanson knife. And that knife for 60 bucks of what it'll retail at is really good. And I've heard similar sentiments about QSP for a long time. It's just been not the range I'm playing in. So I haven't been like experiencing it. And seeing these in person, the quality on this little guy the micarta is good. I like the micarta. It's got a great finish and feel to it. It's a very functional micarta. The overall thickness is a little thick for me <laughs> of this knife, especially for how shrunk down it feels, but it actually feels good in hand. Um, and these grinds on the blade, this belt satin is gorgeous. It's really good and it's nice pretty thin behind the edge, not like stupid thin, but this is a good thin slicey little blade. Um, I've only like test cut some paper and cardboard with it, but it did great. The edge that came on it from factory is good. And if you're looking for like a small budget friendly knife in micarta, this one's blade is 14C28N, which in the budget steel world is probably my favorite that I see getting used right now. 14C28N is great in my opinion. Um, I love it. You've got a deep carry loop over style knife that completely conceals the knife in pocket. It's thumb studs, which these thumb studs work 
really well for middle finger flick and thumb flicking. The detent is solid. It's on bearings. Like, this sucker is pretty cool. And it's a little guy, so I feel like that's already gonna like isolate some people, right? You either like little knives or you don't, I find. <laughs> um, I find uh, like friends of mine who are into smaller knives have a lot of tiny knives. And then usually I find that people who are into bigger knives immediately write off any knife that is below a certain size because they know they don't like it. But if you're a small knife person, this is a sick little sheep's foot, worn cliffy, belt satin, micarta, like liner lock that just works well. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed with it. This, the reason why I said yes to QSP sending me these things was because of my level of curiosity and I'm impressed beyond what I had heard and I'd heard good things. So this is cool, I like this. Um, let's show the little fixed blade now. So this is set up to be kind of a neck knife. It comes with this chain and this sheath. You could obviously take this sheath and affix a whole variety of clips or soft loops or whatever you wanted onto it, but it's set up to be a neck knife. Um, I've only carried this as a neck knife one time because I'm not really a neck knife guy, uh, but I have put it without the chain in my fanny pack quite a few times as a little fanny pack fixed blade just floating around in one of the smaller pockets there. Um, and for me, that's kind of where it has shined. I imagine if I put some soft loops on this and I tried to carry it um, like horizontal appendix, it would be a great tiny little platform to do that on. Um, but what's striking to me is actually like the height of this blade and the way that this jimping extends really far forward. So you get a lot of purchase up here. And what's crazy is like, look at this jimping. It's cut on an angle, which I am stoked about. I generally do not like jimping. What's funny is when I run my finger along this, it wants to like follow the jimping off of the knife. But if I'm just pressing forward into it where my thumb lands on the jimping, this jimping is so much more comfortable to me than standard like laterally cut in jimping or horizontally, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, but yeah, the height of this blade, the height of the grind, it's thin and slicey. This thing is a great cutter, like really, really good. Um, and so it's just a cool little blade. I'm getting a full three fingers on it and that's it. My pinky hangs off completely, but I've, I have enough purchase on it that it feels pretty good. If you wanted to, you could always use this kind of final hole to tie a little bit of a lanyard on here. That way you've got something for your pinky. I'm not a lanyard guy, so I'm not gonna do that. But for a little EDC fixed blade that could be carried on a necklace, can be carried in a pocket, can be carried on your belt if you uh, affix a loop or a, I mean, you could literally even like put some paracord around this sheath through these holes and then run your belt through it. It it would be great in that in that roll because it's so thin, it's so small and compact. It's just really nice slice as well. So another thing that I'm impressed with. This one's good. Uh, the colorway, if I'm being honest, isn't totally me. The black and red is not really my style. Um, I'm sure some people love it, but I'm pretty sure they offer this in other colorways too. And yeah, I don't know, pretty cool. So if you're a, a neck knife or a small EDC fixed blade kind of guy, this is cool. And I like to see that, so for QSP, resoundingly, the conversation that I've heard around the brand for the last while has been mostly about the Penguin model. So I like to see that they're leaning into that, that they're like, this is the knife of ours that people like the most. Let's expand on it. Let's make a mini version, an XL version, a small fixed blade version. Like, I like that philosophically. Now, like I already alluded to, where it gets the best, in my opinion, is this guy. Um, this thing is sweet. It is a great titanium frame lock, multiple deployment options because we've got these studs, we've got a flipper tab, which frankly works great. The way that this flipper tab is set up reminds me of like the Finch knives, how there's jimping on this flat portion up here. So you can actually use it as like a forward choil and it works really well for it. Um, the grind is nice. It's a nice tall flat. Um, the swedges are done in a really pretty way. The finish is great. So you got this like black wash on the 20 CV. Their logo is really small. It's not overly branded. Their pivot 
is pretty good looking. Like the finish on this kind of like oil can bronze, or I don't know what you'd want to call that finish, but it's a anodized titanium frame that has like, yeah, I, it's like bronze anodized, but there's like a blackness to it as well. It looks really, really good. We've got a wire loop over deep carry clip. That's like my favorite, if you know me. This thing just is a banger. <laughs> um, the only critiques I would have of it are it could use some internal milling. Um, it feels pretty robust. But that said, I'd probably only want that for the like in pocket feel because in hand, the weight of this feels amazing. And in pocket, frankly, it's comfortable too. It's smooth all over, so that's great. It's pretty thin. The overall profile of this, it, I would say it's airing on the thinner side. It's under a half an inch thick for sure. And it's just really well done. I'm impressed with this knife. This is a knife that I'd be happy to put in my pocket and carry for an entire day and use. And not many budget knives get that from me at this point. Where budget knives are for me, generally speaking now, is like, oh, I'm gonna go do some yard work or some kind of dirtier than normal job and I wanna have a knife on me that I don't need to worry about. It's almost looked at as like kind of expendable, right? And I think there's a, a place for that. And many of the budget knives that fit that role for me, I love on their own merit. But that's like when they make it in pocket. Because if I'm looking at that or I'm looking at a custom hand-built really like to me more exciting knife, what's gonna make it in my pocket for the entire day? The knife that was really expensive and like gets me pumped more than a budget knife can. Um, but this, like, I don't know. I could see this like opening the door for me a little bit more in the sense of like, maybe I'm going on a road trip and I don't wanna bring an expensive knife because I don't wanna worry about it. Like this would be a freaking great, just like tool of a knife to have in pocket, but it's super fidgety, super fun. The detent is great, multiple deployment uh, options or methods. It's like, it fits my hand great. The size is wonderful. Um, I think I would probably like the regular size penguin as well, because if I like split the difference between the two of these, that makes sense to me. But I can't imagine I would like the regular size more than this extra large one. This size is just awesome. Um, I get a full purchase on it. I'm nestled right up into this like groovy choil spot that's not even really cut in like a groove. That's just so comfortable to land in. Saber grip is great. Hammer grip is great. Reverse grip is great. Reverse draw cut is great. Forward draw cut is great. Like every grip on this knife is comfortable and it feels quality like I wasn't expecting. I guess maybe that's the biggest thing. It feels nicer than I knew QSP was capable of. Um, and I love to see it. I love to see the finish on it. I love to see the way that it's all come together. It's just, it's impressing me. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I like this knife a lot. I like all three of them, but like the reality is, am I gonna keep carrying this little guy? Maybe every now and then this will make it in pocket. If I need something really compact, but it's, it's, it's fighting against knives like the Protec Runt 5 or the Civivi Baby Banter or, you know, like, and my Baby Banter has custom scales on it and I don't know, like, I don't know that it beats those out. And it's not punching at the same price class that those are, but those are other tiny knives that I have that I've like whittled down through a bunch of other tiny knives and I've found that I just like, that does it for me. Um, but the neck knife, same kind of thing. I have other EDC fixed blades that are also tiny like this that are like customs or super small production or like my Jacob Creates Chickadee, stuff like that. That for me, again, they cost a lot more, but I have them and they feel kind of the same role. And so they'll probably make it in pocket or onto my body or in my fanny pack more than that one would. Not saying that that's not nice, but this, I feel like this, this is ticking some boxes that I wasn't expecting it to and is just frankly a really high quality piece that I could see myself keeping in my like main collection box and reaching for relatively regularly. Um, this is a, a good option. So anyway, I like it a lot. I think it's cool. Their packaging is nice too. I left the boxes where I can't reach them, but 
They come in nice boxes. They've got these cool ownership cards that have specs and stuff on them. Um, I love that. I think that's pretty cool, the way that these cards are done. They came with some stickers. Like, QSP is, is doing a good job. And I think that's what I'm coming away from this with. And yeah, I think maybe they, they deserve a little more love than they get sometimes. Um, I guess I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I like these knives, they're cool. So this is just a highlight video. Um, I'm not like doing an affiliate link with them or anything. It's not like I'll make money if you buy one of these. Um, they were very cool in sending me these to check out. So huge thank you to them for that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's really all that needs to be said. I, I like these knives, I think they're cool. I think they're done well. I think especially this XL one is surprisingly good in a way that it feels better than I knew they were capable of um, as an OEM. This is really nice and it gets me thinking. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for checking it out. Thank you to QSP for sending these along so that I could see them and show them to you guys and uh, see you guys on the next one.